for many years, Limitless Wrestling called Westbrook home, the Westbrook Guard Armory, housing dozens of Limitless Wrestling shows. Scotty finds himself here tonight in Yarmouth in the premier promotion in the state of Maine, and perhaps even New England, Johnny Torres. It's an honor to have him here. Absolutely, and Brad Cashew has ran his mouth. He was embarrassed last time he was out here at the expense of Dirty Dango. It's had a vendetta seemingly against the whole state of Maine. Absolutely. The BU kid. Art, conspicuous by her absent, Ava Everett, touring Europe right now over in Germany with WXW. We're going to be very curious to see how Art does without Ava Everett here. Right, right. Got a, a tactician of similar mind in Brad Cashew. Similar goals there. Scotty Tuhati starting off at a deficit here against the BU Brad. He's taking his time here. And that's what they're going to have to do. It's a handicap match. Brad Cashew was allowed to choose his partner. I wasn't aware it was going to be partners. Right. Roll the dime piece, Aaron Rourke. Look, he smokes the smoke show. And Scotty still in just absolutely incredible shape. The shirt is off. Business just picked up. Scotty here in front of his hometown crowd. You know, it's. How often can he say that throughout his career? Right, it's probably been a very long time since he's able to say that. The energy in here is damn palpable. Absolutely. Hello, oh. how do you do there, Brad? Catching him again, Scotty. Lighting the, up Brad Cashew here. The stank on those right hands. Chops, punches, forearms. Letting it loose. Shoulder tackle from Scotty too hot. What is this? A couple of middle fingers. Little how do you do's for everybody. Got a couple Brad spares Cashew. in the pockets. Leapfrog. Go Scotty too hot. Are you kidding me? Well, tranquilo. Really? Oh, and the roof raising in front of our eyes. Scotty's speaking his native tongue of Maine right now. Hip toss to Brad Cashew. Hip toss once again. The trifecta. Going to the well over and over because it keeps working, Johnny Torres. And now the dime piece enters the contest. Whoa! Hip toss over for the dime piece, Aaron Rourke. Damn near threw him out of the ring. I oh, to bring it around, bring it around town. Get all of it here. Might as well have a broken arm at this point, Johnny Torres. Right, well, oh, Dango, a regular, a roster member here at Limitless Wrestling, Dango. Absolutely. Month after month surprising us, showing why he is one of the best at what he does. Here it is. International, world-renowned talent, Dirty Dango. The shoulder tackle to the dime piece. Both these guys still have the moves, Johnny Torres. It's all in the hip stop shot. I don't think I can. Big leg drop, textbook by Dirty Dango. Aaron Rourke, grading space, finding uh, Salas in the corner. I'm gonna say, Ricky Smokes desperately needs to tag in here. Brad Cashew, worse for the wear. Dime piece not looking much better at all. And it's getting worn out in the corner by Dirty Dango. It certainly is. To the buckle, Aaron Rourke up and over. Lands on his feet. What was that? Whoa, boy. Oh, to the Bellas. Yeah. Hey, little Bella Twins. Little, uh, that's Britney circa 2004. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Almost got him. Dirty Dango. Teetering, Look at that heart. Still on his feet. How is he still on his feet? Are you kidding me? What flexibility. Catches him. The dime piece. Spare some change there, worth a nickel now. Good heavens, dirty dango. Think about this for one second. There, like, there are other competitors that pass through Maine. You know, we have a renaissance now with people like Ace Romero, proudly representing Saco Maine. The MSP, Danger Kid and Aiden Agro. The Limitless Dojo. Maine is, is a hotbed for wrestling now. Well but these two, back in their day, had to struggle and claw their way to get noticed in a state like Maine. And now, now Maine is a place where people want to come. People from the South, the Midwest, out West. <laughs> they all What's going on? Double fists. Yeah, before the roads in Maine were paved, 
It was competitors like Dirty Dango and Scotty Too Hotty that laid those original dirt roads that main wrestlers traveled up and down. Say Scotty Too Hotty introducing Aaron Rourke's head to the turnbuckle. And neither they got over the back. Uh, Rourke not taken kindly. Once again, I'm going to say it. They need to get the tag to Smokes. Absolutely. They heard you. Art only improving each month. Having a little trouble, kind of sinking up in the early going. But certainly, Art having a sort of renaissance, if you will, over the past right. couple months. All came together at Restival. Limitless Worcester. Absolutely. And there'd be no bigger victory for those two men and Brad Cashew with a victory tonight over Scotty Tuati and Dirty Dangle. No doubt. That would be a bullet point at the top of all three resumes. I'm saying Ricky Smokes, you got to believe he's feeling it after last month. Him and Ava Everett not able to defeat Love, Love Doug and Dirty Dango, I do believe. Wild. Ricky Smokes. We're going to grind away at the eyes of Scotty Tuhati before driving in the right hand. Come on, Scotty. Come on. Big boot to the face once again. Ricky Smokes going to be showing off all of his moves. If you can call that dancing. Oh, God, I think that's the worst one I've seen tonight. Has Brad danced yet? Oh, boy. Going uh, a little overboard. I'm not sure about this. Might have been taking a little too much time. Ricky Smoke showing his age here. Big back elbow from Scotty Zuhati. Big boot to the face. That one's going to rattle some teeth. Big close eye from Scotty. Oh, like a bullet. Right into the cover. Two. Only two. Aaron Rourke was ready to make that save. Scotty too hot, he immobilizing Smokes with the armbar, tag to Dirty Dango. Dango going to the top here. This big. Double axe handle. And now, Sumi Control drops the lifter on Ricky Smokes. Following suit, powerful uppercuts. Just, they really can't get out of their own way here. Wait a minute. Oh, that could be the that could be what they needed. All of us. Ricky Smokes directing traffic here, looking for some trios offense. Nobody home for Cashew. Nobody home for Rourke. That's three. Conga line. Uh oh. Oh no. Wait a minute. And uh, I suppose that's certainly something. Teach their own. Is that art? We're very uh, proactive here, I do believe. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but that was certainly something. Somebody take a clip of this, send it to Ava Everett, and ask her if that's art. <laughs> I do believe that some people would consider that art. Wow! Oh, thank God, you know, everybody out of the pool. Scotty too hotty. Once Needs again. Needs a little more height. Speaking the native tongue of everybody here in the room. That would be Maine, Johnny Torres. You said it. Yarmouth loving every second here. Their two first ballot Maine Wrestling Hall of Famers putting the clinic down. Oh. Hang him up to dry there. Aaron Rourke, big boot catches Dango. Oh. Got a flash going right into the cover. They count it too. That, uh, that might have just turned the tables oh. here. Gnawing on the forehead there of Dango. Yarmouth quick though to rally behind their two local heroes. I was gonna say, Dango now finally looking worse for the wear here. Could be time. Could be Brad Gashu, could be Smokes. And that's where the numbers game's gonna come in here. Usually you have it with Ava Everett, but Brad Cashew, consummate professional in his own right. You know, we make some jokes at his expense, but he is a consummate athlete. He's very good at what he does. Only made more powerful by the fact that he has Smokes and Rourke by his side tonight. A top top tier grappler in multiple disciplines. And I mean, being that book red can only work in your advantage as well. Oh, big kick to the back of Dango into the cup. But Dango's got a deep, a deep gas tank and can take a lot of punishments. It's gonna take more than that. Look at this. Oh, come on. Scotty's not going to like that one. Into the cover, too. Now Ricky smokes. Great Drops separation. Me. He's a multiple tags now, and that's the thing. That's going to make all the difference, keeping each man fresh here. 
Multiple tags to all three members. Dango needs to tag Scotty in the worst possible way. Yeah, Dango trying to mount an offense to barely get anything going. And you said it, these rapid fire tags paying dividends. Here comes Rourke. Big knees to the stomach there, to the chest. Drops him down. DDT tandem offense from Art. Dime piece into the cover, he's got him. Only two. Brilliantly creative offense there. Oh, come on. Scotty within striking distance. Rourke taking full advantage. Cashew there with the boots. Oh, Smokes no. with the boots as well. Dango, wait a minute. Cover. Only two. Close line from Aaron Rourke. Yeah, right back on it. Aaron Rourke. No shortage of intensity in the dime piece. And now, here comes Brad Cashew. Cashew coming in. You got to believe that Cashew had a lot to say, taking his time. I yeah, understand sure. he was he was protesting to come out because he was waiting for the microphone to work. Yeah. What a prima donna, Johnny Torres. Tell me about it. Back in my day, if something didn't work, we just went to the ring. Anyways, geez, too long. Yep, too long. Anyways. Dango! Not far from Scotty Duhati now. Fingertips, but! No light, light suplex. Only a two count. Smokes. Smokes is yelling at the top turnbuckle, and now the fans. Cash has got to think of something. He's going to tag in Smokes. And this now. Three on two assault is going to pay dividends. They just got to keep Dango in the ring. Do not let him tag in Scotty. Keep that ring cut off, and it should be easier with a one man advantage. Yeah, at this point, at this point, Scotty's as fresh as it gets. Smokes coming in. Up and over. And landing. Rourke. Into the post. And this is his chance. Dango needs to make this tag in the worst way. Scotty wants it too, reaching out. Scotty on the apron there, nobody else in the ring. Gotta make this tag. Dime piece down in front of us, trying to stir. And Brad Cashew, oh there it is. In a pin. Only a one. Keeps hold of that waist lock. Now transitioning, got the foot. Back into the corner. Once again, putting the boots to Dango. What is this? I finally thought we were going to see the Brad Cashew dance there. Yeah, a, a worm or something. So now, taking more time to jaw jack with the fans now. And that's where it's gotten them in trouble in the past. Do not focus on the fans. Take your time on these two veterans. They yeah. have been to the dance, for lack of a better word, both these guys. Yeah, like the, the, the absolute top of the tower. Absolutely. Cashew now, bring Dango's up to the top. Could be looking for a superplex. We know that Dango employs a Falcon Arrow. His guillotine leg drop is the stuff of legends. Absolutely, but it's not going to mean anything if Brad Cashew can bring him over that superplex. Yeah, no doubt. It looks like he's got him. we got to hook him here. Can't take too much time, though. Dango, a oh, couple of punches in bunches. Headbutt. Grip release from Cashew. And that's going to drop Cashew. Talking about that leg drop. That's going to be up there. Takes out both members of Art. Dango here. Might be time. Oh, Cashew though. Able to get up and that's going to be costly now. Brutal. That, that's going to be costly to Dango, especially Sky Duhati cannot get that tag. I don't know if Brad Cashew completely knew what happened there. What is this? Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Oh no. The hands on the thighs. The positioning of Dirty Dango. It appears that the fans are just you know chanting what? Augusta at Brad Cashew. What is this? This is the Augusta Stinks dance, apparently. What? Wait. Dirty Dango. Dirty Dango. Dirty Dango has Aaron Rourke. Aaron Rourke being pulled in the. Oh. Oh. What is this going to be? Oh. Brad Cashew. Backing that ass up. There it is. Stick face to his own partner, he has no idea! No clue! Oh my god, no! Reading from the book of Fatu! That'd be Rakishi Fatu! There goes Smokes! Oh, wait a minute! Rubbing the buttocks! Brad Cashew into the face of the dime piece! 
The play didn't backfire. The playbook just damn disintegrated. Dango needs to make the tag to Scotty. Aaron Rourke beside himself. Ricky Smokes picking up the pieces. There's no one in the way. Scotty Tuati's in the ring. Once it, Smokes can't get out of his own way, Smokes is out of there. Blocking all these shots from Cashew. Picking up speed. Feeling the rhythm. Absolutely. You say getting jiggy with it back in 2000 there, Johnny Torres. Ah, uh, you said it. Big close lines. It's Master Scotty of the Tuhati. worm, Scotty Tuhati. Sends Cashew off, reverses it, does Cashew. Cashew with a forearm. Not a guy you want to be in the opposite end of when he gets on a roll like this. Will this be? Scotty now. Pacers, two, three, count with him, folks. Every single one of them landing flush. Face first into the top turnbuckle goes Brad Cashew. This guy's thinking about something here. Yeah, something brewing. Going up he top here. the crowd participation. Two, two, three, four, Punches and bunches. Throws off Scotty Zuhati. Brad Cashew gets caught with that super kick. Into the cover to get him there, Torres. Oh, Brad. Ricky Smokes there just in the nick of time. That's as close as it gets, top shelf. A Dango. What is this? Dango's got him up in the air raid crash. What is oh, it? Oh, no, don't even tell me. Little of everything. Air raid crash in the DDT. Unreal. Good night. Ricky Smokes and Aaron Rourke. Oh, look at it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think I've seen this before. There's going to be one more step involved. You and I and everyone have grown up alongside that face. On their feet. Bulldog. This can only mean one thing. Come on now. I'm going to let the crowd speak for us there, Torres. Take us home. back in November at Twilight Zone. If you haven't seen it, check it out in the IWTV archives or go to youtube.com slash Limitless Wrestling. See Warhorse and John Silver for free. And uh, maybe that's a little prepper for someone like Rip Bison. How do you even prepare? How do you game plan? Both men. Both men. Nobody's seen anything like either one. Well, I hope he's watched some Let's Wrestle. That's where Rip Bison's been tearing it up. Our sister promotion out of Orono, Maine. And that's yeah. how he got this opportunity. Derek Douglas almost getting run the fuck over. We got two bulls going head to head here. Oh, ho. Peyton, the target. All right. Warhorse with the mind game. That's an interesting approach. Usually he's, you know, slam, bam, and smash mouth from the start. Just letting him know. Just letting him know. He sees a guy like Rip Bison. He wants the headbang. Are you shitting me? 
Yeah! Not bad. Most medals. It's not bad at all. I mean, I've seen much worse. Oh, shit. Whoa! Shots fired! Apparently, I'm no judge. That, uh, okay. You know, that is very good. Oh, Whoa! Rip Bison gonna scoop him up and take him in the corner quick. And what a pork chop that was from Ripper. This is what Rip does best. The Warhorse. Nothing doing. The power of Warhorse surging through Yarmouth, Maine. And he's headbanging himself into the top turnbuckle. Whoa. Oh! He's a strong dude. Oh! He can keep up! He's a little unhinged. He can handle his head banging. Can he handle a headbutt from Warhorse? We're trading headbutt center of the ring. Didn't think I'd say that tonight. Iron Rip Bison is cut from a different cloth. As is Warhorse. Oh! And neither man going down. Warhorse now rapid fire headbutts. Summoning the power. He's feeling a Oh, we're going to the floor. Wow. Rip Bison. Hitting him like a tanker. Everywhere Iron Rip goes, that feeling of a little bit of danger follows. Yes. Oh, and that kind of feeling, too. The feeling of just, I mean, what's got to be a lead pipe across your chest. Rip Bison. Warhorse is one of the strongest strikers out there. Rip Bison is laughing. That's scary. Warhorse standing his ground. And Rip Bison wants it. I don't know if I'd want that, my God. Wow. Brushing it off. Warhorse extending the invitation. Who wants to do this? Battle dudes. of the cattle. Yeah, I was just gonna say they're fucking no. animals. No! 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 We've seen too many spills on the wood floor no. tonight. Not another. No. Two. Ah! No. My weakness. Oh no! Ah! Rip Bison crashing hard on the wood floor. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the hell's Warhorse thinking? Double stop on the floor! My God! Caving in the back of Rip Bison and Warhorse is feeling it. Yarmouth is feeling it. Just about drove it through the floor here at the Yarmouth Ambits. And after that back body drop. Yeah, come on. Derek Douglas trying to regain some control. Warhorse hucking Rip Bison back into the ring. Wow. Warhorse building that steam. What the hell does A uh mean? Warhorse to the top. What? Ripper catches him out of midair. Elevated. My, my God. <laughs> Nearly put him through the roof. Go Doctor Bomb. Rip Bison, new IWTV independent champ. Only two. Freak elevation. He on caught that him bomb. out of midair. What? Wow. Rip Bison making a statement. Oh, in his limitless wrestling debut, but Warhorse just getting fired up by the chops from Rip Bison. And Rip shrugging that off. We're gonna have a chop exchange. There goes the wrist tape. He wants wow. some meat on meat. Meaty men slapping meat. Neither man giving any ground back and forth. Rapid fire slaps. Good Lord. God damn it. <laughs> wow. That was to the temple. Warhorse elevated Whoa. by Rip Bison. Wow. Alabama slam, center of the ring. Rip Bison. hasn't done enough. Oh, yeah, except I've got the Lariat. God damn, cover. One, two, only two. Warhorse firing the shoulder up just in a nick of time. Rip Bison pulled the trigger on the love gun. 
only good for two. Ripper thought he had it one with that love gun right there, but nothing doing as Warhorse continuing to fight through the battle rages on as Bison off the ropes. Here Almost comes hilarious. Warhorse, power slide. Slugging. What a combo. Very nice placement on that kick from Warhorse, and he's fired the fuck up. Here comes the heavy metal ruler of asses. Rushes rip into the corner. Here he comes once again. Another clothesline in the corner, and Warhorse is rolling. And headbang. Wow! Oh, turned him inside out with that clothesline. What the hell is he thinking here? Warhorse loves that double stop. He does it. Put away John Ripper. Snow a couple months ago, but Ripper right to the second rope. Incredible agility. We're slugging again. Headbutt sends him careening to the canvas. And Warhorse elevated, looking for an elbow to the heart from the top. Picture perfect. Warhorse rocking and rolling here. Red Bison in a bad position right now. Probably the first time in the matchup since he's been on the outside. Has it been a disadvantage for wow. Red Bison? That would have killed him wow. into the corner. God, Rip was swinging for the fences with that one. And now, oh, Warhorse, no. blood in the water, looking for the double stop oh. to the back once again. Caving in the back of Rip Bison. One, two, and Warhorse remains your independent wrestling champion. What an effort. An incredible match up here. Rip Bison in his limitless wrestling debut taking Warhorse all the way to the finish line. But Warhorse just one step, maybe one headbang ahead of Rick Bison. Warhorse now staring down Iron Rick Bison. A oh, forehead to forehead. Extends the fist. Yeah. 